Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Fraps and then set it up basically after installation. I've been um, getting a lot of emails recently asking me, you know, what software do we use, what software I use to edit, etc, etc, etc. And I just thought it'd be easy to make a quick video for you all to watch. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll get on with the tutorial very quickly. So, to install Fraps, um, you start the Fraps uh, installation page, you click I agree. I've actually al already got it installed at the moment, I've got it going to C program files Fraps. Uh, I will, I I'm not going to click next here uh, because I've already installed it once, but if you click next it'll complete the installation, it takes about 20 seconds if that. Um, and then basically you'll end up with this screen. Um, you'll launch Fraps, Fraps, the Fraps icon on your desktop will appear automatically. So uh, when Fraps opens what you need to do is you'll be shown these, this, this small um, window. Across the top you've got general, frames per second, movies, screenshots. Again this is how I set it up, you can set it up entirely different, it's entirely up to you. Please note though that this is a full licensed version from the fraps.com website that I've paid for and gives me unlimited recording time. The free download will only give, only give you I think 30 seconds maximum 60 seconds of recording time so just bear that one in mind. Anyway the general tab I don't change anything the only thing that's got a check in it is fraps windows always on top that's pretty much it. Frames per second tab disable benchmark hotkey disable this little black box on the right hand side overlay counter it's a counter that displays in either car either corner of uh, your gaming screen that shows you your frames per second whilst you're playing again disable that it's a load of crap um, I don't check any of these boxes only update overlay once a second stop benchmark automatically after 60 seconds that's a waste of time uh, save detailed benchmark statistics, uh, min max average frames per second, frame times, a load of jargon really, don't need to bother with it. Movies, movies tab at the top, your movies will save into, well my movies will save into C program files fraps folder. Uh, you can change this by clicking the change key. Um, I recommend leaving the where well it says half life and full size, half size and full size. Leave it on full size. When you've got it set to full size, it gives you all the pixels used in the game uh, to record your video. Your video capture hotkey at the, by default is set to F9. I click that once and change it to home, which I which is great for me. Uh, there's also a check in record sound and then there's also a dot i.e. check in detect best sound input that's what I would recommend leaving it to nothing else again is changed on this page screenshots some else I don't use because I can take them manually in the game you normally get a, a print screen key if necessary with the game itself um, the checks in bitmap uh, the the screen capture hotkey is set to F10, I disable that. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Um, when you're in game, uh, well you launch Fraps first, um, then you start your game, and in my case, to start recording gameplay, I would press the home key, um, which again I'll just go back to. The home key is in the movies section, it's set to home. Um, and that's pretty much it really, if you've got any questions um, please leave your comments below and I'll I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, one more thing, uh, when you do minimize fraps to start your game it drops down to the taskbar near your clock. If for any reason you want to exit fraps after you finish recording you right click on the fraps icon and select exit fraps and that's it, it goes simple. Anyway, I hope this video helped. Uh, have a great day and please subscribe. Check you later. Bye.